know this is potentially going to be a problem. Fire season doesn't look to be good because it has been so dry. Even though we got helped out with the storm that hit over the past week, again, we're finding conditions dry, even though as we've been getting some of the precipitation, we need a lot more. But as we turn towards the weekend, we're getting a break from the storm. Starting off in St. George, we've got partly cloudy skies. Temperatures in the upper 40s with just a little bit of a wind there. As winds, at least throughout Weber and Davis County, we've been holding on to a wind advisory as we've been looking at overnight some stronger canyon winds. Not a downslope wind event, but those canyon winds should subside as we move throughout the morning. We've got a temperature of 41 degrees, at least right now in Salt Lake City. Again, at winds out of the east, whereas you move closer towards the benches, towards those canyons, you definitely can find some stronger winds. Again, it's just mainly throughout the morning where expected high in Salt Lake City, upper 50s, where on average we should be in the low 60s. Look at the record, 85 degrees. We're going to see 80s return towards St. George. It's going to take a couple days before we get there, but we're definitely on a warming trend. Now, speaking of the storms, looking at the precipitation so far in April, where, of course, April is a wet month, where we're close to average. As we look so far, we picked up just shy of an inch of precipitation. As we look at, though, the full water year from October up to this point, we're still 70% of normal. To get us out of the drought, as we've been mentioning, we need above normal precipitation. We're not even close to that. But with the showers we've been receiving, kind of helping you know, allowing the pollen count to be suppressed just a little bit. We're still looking at moderate levels there for cottonwood, the oak trees as well. And as we dry things out, the pollen count becomes a little bit more of an issue. Now, we do have fire weather watches across most of the state in that we know moving ahead as we might potentially find some winds. And because it's so dry, we have to do our part definitely to avoid starting any fires. That wind advisory through Weber and Davis County looks like it'll expire at noon. Turning towards southern Utah, we do have some clouds in place. Residual moisture as the storm does move on, it is providing a chance of maybe seeing some light showers turning towards south central Utah. Throughout the afternoon, across the southern mountains, we definitely could see an isolated shower. That could have impacts in some of the national parks. Uh, Bryce Canyon over towards Zion National Park. Wasatch Front, as it is clear, it will remain clear throughout the day as high pressure is building in, drier air tracking in. We see that warming trend throughout the weekend. But as I mentioned across southern Utah, as we take a look at the computer models, we move into the late afternoon. Again, we could see some showers. Capitol Reef, Fish Lake uh, towards Zion National Park. Should avoid the Dixie area as we'll really dry out for tomorrow. No concerns throughout the weekend as it's going to be clear, sunny, and warming up. But a storm will be lining uh, at least be approaching as we turn towards Monday. Monday afternoon, at least across northern Utah, there's a chance of maybe seeing a brief shower. Today, though, it's sunny. You're enjoying it. We're getting a break from the storms. Go ahead and wash your car. Getting an opportunity to work in your yard if you want to. you got mid to upper 50s for highs. Looking to wear, you know, light jacket throughout the day because of these uh, temperatures being below normal as we'll only be in the 60s in St. George. A few clouds throughout the afternoon. Sunday, though, Monday, Tuesday, it's sunny and clear and keeping the rain away as temperatures do climb into the low 80s Monday and Tuesday and looking towards 80s next weekend. Northern Utah, 50s to 60s, and we hold on to the 60s. Slight chance of that shower late Monday. We're good to go Tuesday. Wednesday, start to see increasing clouds. A stronger storm hits Thursday as far as bringing the possibility of maybe a shower, isolated thunderstorm. But again, temperatures look to get above normal. But for today, it's a little bit cool, but we got the sunshine all weekend long. Sunshine. All right, that does feel good, right? <laughs> yeah. Even if it's a little colder than we may or may want. Right yeah, now. if you're heading out to those soccer games, you're needing a coat here this morning. <laughs> all right, thanks so much, Brad.